everyone welcome back to my channel so today i wanted to do an old school video like a sam old school video so on my channel i used to do like nine habits before 9 a.m or you know 10 habits before 10 a.m and now that i'm a mom and it's years later so much has changed in my life and i am now seeing the importance of a morning routine even more than I ever did. And I'm somebody that like, I loved my morning routine. Once I was living on my own and paying my bills and all that, that's when I really saw that a morning routine can transform your life. I owe literally everything in my life from my health and wellness journey to even all the way to my financial journey. Like literally everything in my life I owe to a concrete morning routine. And if you're feeling like, you just know you need to change something in your life, but you don't know what, this is a great video to start because I filmed my slow morning routine video and I still get so many messages on Instagram about that video. So I thought I would put all the tips in one place in a video like this, nine habits to do before 9 a.m. that will change your life. My first tip is to wake up before your family. If you are a mom like I am, I have an almost three-year-old. However, if you don't have kids yet, wake up early. That's where the whole morning routine starts. That's the foundation. If you don't start with the foundation, you're not going to build the house, right? So the foundation is waking up early. And I talked about it in my slow morning routine. I'm not somebody that like when my alarm goes off, I'm like, what? I love waking up like no I come up with objections and I'm like well you know last night I didn't sleep so great so I'm just gonna sleep five more minutes today like I do that I go back to the days that I do sleep in and my whole life gets ahead of me like emails come in and I don't get to go to a workout and breakfast is like rushing I hate that like rush and with kids and their routine it could just feel like no part of the day did I get to get settled first before taking care of everybody else. So I always go back to that feeling like have your morning before your day starts. That's really been my mantra. Like Sam, I need my morning before my actual day starts. Two, hydrate. So I've been obsessed with electrolytes because I'm not like a huge fan of like just regular tasting water, like just plain old water. I'm like, eh, I'm drinking it. It's good for me, blah, blah, blah. Electrolytes make the biggest difference because one, as I'm filming this, it's summer and I'm in Florida right now. And I was just in New York and New York is hot, but Florida summer is really hot and you need extra salt, extra minerals because it's hot. And I like to still keep up with my walks. For me, electrolyte water is perfect, but you don't have to do that. The key takeaway here is you have to hydrate the minute you wake up. So if you're following me in real time, like as I'm filming this video and as I've been on Instagram, then you know I've been very sick. We just got back from New York and one of our family members was sick and literally all of us are sick now. So I just, I'm getting a little better even here to my voice. I'm still a little congested, but now my daughter is sick. I have to show you two things that have been saving me since being sick. So here they are. Okay, so both of them are by Peak. So this is Peak's matcha and I've been having an iced matcha every single day. The minute I get sick, I cannot have coffee. And I think because coffee is very like, dehydrating and I don't know I'm such a coffee person like I love the taste of coffee but when I'm sick that's the last thing I want but because I'm a mom I still needed a little bit of energy a little caffeine was very nice and that's what I like about matcha I also read that matcha has so many anti-aging benefits if you follow my Instagram and YouTube channel you know I love peak matcha because there's no prep time it's so easy it comes in a packet and they use the highest quality ingredients when you're looking for matcha, you want it to be ceremonial grade, and that's exactly what Peaks Matcha is. It also tastes so creamy. I did mix in honey where I usually add maple syrup, but because I'm sick, I thought I would get more benefits from honey. Add milk, and there you go. You have an iced matcha latte. It's delicious. I could drink like three of these. And then the next thing, probably the most important thing that saved me during being sick is Peaks Electrolytes. And I really like this one because the flavor is just a hint. Like I've shared other electrolytes on my channel 
and on my stories that are just like like more of a strong taste and when i was sick like i did not want that i just wanted lots and lots of water to be honest and like a hint of sweetness peaks bt fountain also has hyaluronic acid and save my skin this summer i've been adding them straight to my mountain valley because i haven't been wanting to use my water bottle and i think that that helps me with recovery and just feeling really good. So you guys can actually get this duo together with the link in my description box. And what's great about that when you get the matcha and BT fountain electrolytes, Peak is gonna give you guys a free gift and you will get the frother and the beaker, which is really nice to mix everything together. So when you guys click my link in my description, you'll get, you'll get both of these and the free gift. Number three is to not check your phone. So you don't wanna check social media, you don't wanna check emails, you don't wanna check all of those things. Okay. we've. All heard this tip right like we've all heard this tip but do you want to know why you really don't want to check your phone it's because when you were sleeping your subconscious mind was working and a lot of times we wake up feeling really really good the minute you check your social media that's when your energy just goes from up here down to here because you're seeing her do this, him do that, and they're on this vacation, and they're doing this, or whatever the case may be. And it instantly puts you in a lack mindset. So I'm somebody, I'm all about how to keep the vibes high, right? Like how can we keep our vibes high, feel really good, and be you know, a super attractor in our life? For me, it's very, very important, and it's a self-discipline for me to not check my phone because Doing the easy thing, checking our phone, checking social media, just comes out of boredom. It's just like we're waking up and we're bored and it's become routine. But I want you to choose the hard and to not check it. My fourth tip is the five minute journal, which is a gratitude journal. You don't have to have this journal. You could literally do a gratitude journal in your notebook, but I like the prompts. I like that it like has everything listed out and it really does add to my practice. I'm all about my practice this summer because how you do some things is how you do everything. So my dad used to always talk about like, if you cheat in golf, you're gonna cheat in life. Me and my dad used to play golf together and he always told me that. If you're gonna cheat in golf, you're most likely gonna cheat in other areas of your life. And that taught me a very valuable lesson. I like to keep promises to myself. If I say I'm gonna keep my room clean, my room's gonna be clean. Keeping promises to myself has been really, really powerful in all areas of my life. Health, wellness, financials, career, everything. Gratitude journal just is a step in the right direction if you need to keep a promise to yourself. It's every day writing what you're grateful for and the act of gratitude gets your vibe up here. We just got kicked out of my living room by my toddler who said she's actually gonna be doing some crafts in there. So welcome to my bathroom. My next tip is to plan the workout of the day slash movement. So I will either do Pilates or I will go on a walk, but I'm a firm believer in if you don't plan it, it's not gonna happen. And we all know that movement just makes us feel better. It's the endorphins, it's all of it. So by the way, this whole routine so far is like 10 minutes. It's nothing crazy. It's drinking water, jotting in your gratitude journal like it sounds overwhelming because there's a lot of steps but it's like very intuitive like once you start doing it you'll just do it the next thing is i sit down in my meditation chair and i do a joe dispenza meditation or a superhuman meditation what's great about superhuman it's an app you do have to pay for it but what's great is she has five minute meditations 10 minutes like again this doesn't have to be a long, crazy routine. If I do have more time, I'll do a Joe Dispenza 20 minute meditation and those are free on YouTube. I'll link my favorite one. And then that brings me to my next tip. After I do my meditation, usually something will come to my mind and that's the affirmation of the day. Like one time I was doing a Joe Dispenza meditation and I said, today be your future self like do something your future self will say thank you for starting now like thank you that'll be the affirmation of the day for you it, it could be different just do the guided meditation listen to the words actually treat yourself to this moment in the morning and instead of like garbage on our phones and something will pop into your head where you're like you know what i am so like that's the affirmation of the day. My eighth tip is to start breakfast. So breakfast is nice and simple. I'm not a breakfast person, but I'm training myself to be. So I have protein and fat in the morning and I just add lemon juice on my avocados and then everything but the bagel seasoning on my eggs and avocado. And it's just the simplest breakfast that makes you feel so fueled and that brings me to my last tip 
Tip number nine is to get outside. So regardless of the weather, me and my daughter will literally put on ponchos that my husband got us from Amazon and we will go out in the rain. Like whatever the weather is, we get outside. Start the routine now while it's summer, you'll keep up with it and it just will change your mood. Like everything I've realized in my life with attracting things and setting goals and achieving goals and having changes each year that I can look back and say, oh, I did that this year and oh, this year I accomplished that. Like being able to do all that started with this self-discipline morning routine and I really think keeping these practices and promises to yourself and doing things that are going to feel good even though they seem like just another checklist like I said before this is going to be really intuitive like you're going to keep up with it and it's not going to seem like this long checklist I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what your favorite part of the video was what was your favorite tip that you're going to start applying right away I would love to know have an awesome day and I'll see you guys soon Bye.